Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Reese PM wig by Noriko in the color Plumberry Jam LR. I love this color, and I'm super happy that they're starting to release it in more wigs. Because originally, when this one was uh, released, it was only available in the Aria wig by Renee of Paris, which is owned by the same company. So, yeah. I'm kind of in love with the fact that this comes in this Reese because Reese PM is a new spin on one of the best selling styles from the Noriko line, uh, namely their original Reese. So it really suits this cute little layered shaggy cut. It's super cute. It looks very rocker chic in this color. Um, I do want to say just before we get going with this one that there's quite a bit of flyaways on this wig, um, but fear not. I specialize in right out of the box reviews, you know, so I kind of want you to see the warts and all, but just keep in mind if you wash this wig, a lot of those flyaways will just naturally kind of, you know, lay flat or just get it wet. And that's usually enough to get those to kind of lay flat or maybe if you spritz a little leave-in conditioner, that'll do the trick. Doesn't really take much, honestly, um, but I just want to point them out in case you see them in this video. I don't try to hide that stuff. So uh, just know I knew that it was there. Now you know that it was there if you didn't see it before. And now you know how to take care of it if your Reese PM has a similar issue. So uh yeah before i do anything else i want to do a little 360 so i can show you what this one looks like on all sides reese pm like most noriko wigs comes in an average cap size and it's a little bit snug on me but it's not giving me a headache or anything um, I have a big head though, so just keep that in mind. My, my cap circumference is 23 and a half inches, which is in the average large category. Um, the fringe on the front of Reese varies in length. You can see here it's quite short in some places, quite long in others. So even though it says 6.1 inches in the product specs, just keep in mind it's super layered because it's shaggy in the front. Um, the crown down is 5.5 inches. The nape is 4.1, so it gives you really good coverage back here at the nape. It sort of flips out a little bit. And then this one only weighs 3.3 ounces, so it's really nice and light on, very, very comfortable. She has a lot of volume, especially up here at the top, courtesy of all of the permatease that's in the cap combined with all of the layering that's in this kind of shaggy hairstyle. It's just really super cute. Now, if you're not familiar with the Plumberry Jam LR color, let me describe it to you really briefly. So you can see here, it's got this really nice dark plum root. It's not a brown root, it's plum colored, hence why it's got this name. And then it's a longer root, but not as long as the LR root you'll find on like Macadamia LR or Banana Split LR. Those have roots that go all the way down to your eyebrows basically, and then they change color. This is not like that. This is basically a happy medium in between a regular gradient root and those regular long root colors, as you can kind of see here. But it does morph really nice as if the highlights have been painted into place. You get these little bits of purple, you get fuchsia, you get little bits of true red, and then at the tips of the hair shaft, you get more of that fuchsia. So what that does is it gives it even more dynamicism and makes it look well, more expensive, which is something we always like because we like it when things look expensive and aren't really that expensive. That's awesome. <laughs> and this color isn't that much more than any of the other colors that are provided by this line. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice way to sort of pretend like you spent a small fortune at a salon. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you what the cap construction looks like. Okay, so the cap on Reese PM is basically just like any of their other partial monofilament wigs from the Noriko line. Does not have a lace front, so don't let the, the, the jargon fool you. When it says it has a monofilament front, that does not mean lace front. It literally means it has an L-shaped monofilament insert. It's seamless though. Um, so the front is monofilament and this part is monofilament. I don't really quite get the point of making the front monofilament, but Mm, you know, maybe it's a selling point. Mm. I do like the monofilament side part here though. 
We have generous permatease, by the way, here where this rose lace is. We have open sides, open back, extended closed lace nape. It's adjustable a bit like a bra strap here in the back. We also have closed lace ear tabs. I find Noriko wigs to be a little tight on, and this one's no exception, though one thing I will say is you get really good coverage here on these PM wigs. They do cover all of my sideburn area, which is something I always appreciate in a wig. So this has been my review of the luscious Reese PM wig in Plumberry Jam LR by Noriko. I'm Heather from sisterwigs.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.